The reason why I wrote this book is I was just, you know, I work as an analyst for one of the major Czech banks and I've uh, been an advisor to politicians, to Václav Havel and prime minister and ministers of finance for many, many years. And during the day I work with numbers and during the evening with uh, a glass of, glass of wine, I was tired of numbers. And uh, during the day I was trying to explain and do, um, you know, produce growth and all these things that economists are believed to be responsible for. But in the evening I asked questions and as I I was dealing with why do we need to grow constantly? Why do we have to put everything in numbers? Why do we need to count happiness? Why do we think of things uh, the way we do? So to answer these questions, you know, to think out of a box, that's a difficult, difficult thing. So what I did is I tried to take the Bible, Old Testament, Epic of um, the Gilgamesh, um, uh, Greek philosophers, modern philosophers, and try to offer a mirror for, for economics. So in that book, there's not a single, not a single number. It, um, it um, deals with the soul of economics, so to speak. It doesn't deal with technicalities. Um, and the reason why I wrote this book is to show that economics can be a fun field, that it has reflections in the most Asian myths, as well as in Matrix, Fight Club, uh, Avatar, all the movies, uh, or even cartoons that we, that we see today. I try to look for economic meaning and say, this actually makes sense, and this is deconstructable uh, economically and economics is for crying out loud very easily connectable with culture with art with philosophy sociology psychology in fact it doesn't make much sense without it